Vayikra, or Leviticus, 16 through 18. And Yahavah spoke to Moshe after the death of the two sons of Aaron, as they drew near before Yahavah and died. And Yahavah said to Moshe, Speak to Aaron your brother, not to come in at all times to the set-apart place inside the veil, before the lid of atonement, which is on the ark, lest he die, because I appear in the cloud above the lid of atonement. With this, Aaron should come into the set-apart place, with the blood of a young bull as a sin offering and of a ram as an ascending offering. He should put on the set-apart linen long shirt with linen trousers on his flesh and gird himself with a linen girdle and be dressed with a linen turban. They are set-apart garments. And he shall bathe his body in water and shall put them on. And from the congregation of the children of Israel, he takes two male goats as a sin offering, and one ram as an ascending offering. And Aaron shall bring the bull as a sin offering, which is for himself, and to make atonement for himself and for his house. And he shall take the two goats and let them stand before Yahavah at the door of the tent of appointment. And Aaron shall cast lots for the two goats, one lot for Yahavah and the other lot for Azazel. And Aaron shall bring the goat on which the lot for Yahavah fell and shall prepare it as a sin offering. But on the goat which the lot for Azazel fell is caused to stand alive before Yahavah, to make atonement upon it, to send it into the wilderness to Azazel. And Aaron shall bring the bull of the sin offering, which is for himself, and make atonement for himself and for his house, and shall slay the bull as the sin offering, which is for himself, and shall take a fire holder filled with burning coals of fire from the slaughter place before Yahuwah, with his hands filled with sweet incense beaten fine, and shall bring it inside the veil, and he shall put incense on the fire before Yahuwah, and the cloud of incense shall cover the lid of atonement, which is on the witness, lest he die. And he shall take some of the blood of the bull and sprinkle it with his finger on the lid of atonement on the east side. Also the front of the lid of atonement, he sprinkles some of the blood with his finger seven times. And he shall slay the goat of the sin offering, which is for the people, and shall bring its blood inside the veil, and shall do with that blood as he did with the blood of the bull, and sprinkle it on the lid of atonement and in front of the lid of atonement. And he shall make atonement for the set-apart place because of the uncleanness of the children of Israel and because of their transgressions in all their sins. And so he does for the tent of appointment, which is dwelling with them in the midst of their uncleanness. And no man should be in the tent of appointment when he goes in to make atonement in the set-apart place until he comes out. And he shall make atonement for himself, for his household, and for the assembly of Israel. And he shall go out to the slaughter place that is before Yahavah and make atonement for it. And he shall take some of the blood of the bull and some of the blood of the goat and put it on the horns of the slaughter place all around. And he shall sprinkle some of the blood on it with his finger seven times and cleanse it and set it apart from the uncleanness of the children of Israel. And when he has finished atoning for the set-apart place and the tent of appointment and the slaughter place, he shall bring in the live goat, and Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the goat and shall confess over it all the crookedness of the children of Israel and all their transgressions in all their sins and shall put them on the head of the goat, and shall send it away into the wilderness 
by the hand of a fit man, and the goat shall bear on itself all their crookedness to a land cut off. And he shall send the goat away into the wilderness. Aaron shall then come into the tent of appointment and shall take off the linen garments, which he put on when he went into the set-apart place, and shall leave them there. And he shall bathe his body in water in the set-apart place, and shall put on his garments, and shall come out and prepare his ascending offering and the ascending offering of the people, and make atonement for himself and for the people, and burn the fat of the sin offering on the slaughter place. And he who sent away the goat to Azazel washes his garments and shall bathe his body in water, and afterward he comes into the camp. And the bull for the sin offering and the goat for the sin offering whose blood was brought in to make atonement in the set-apart place, is brought outside the camp, and they shall burn their skins and their flesh and their dung with fire. And he who burns them washes his garments and shall bathe his body in water, and afterward he comes into the camp. And this shall be for you a law forever. In the seventh new moon, on the tenth day of the new moon, you afflict your beings and do no work, the native or the sojourner who sojourns among you. For on that day, he makes atonement for you to cleanse you, to be clean from all your sins before Yahovah. It is a Sabbath of rest for you and you shall afflict your beings, a law forever. And the priest who is anointed and ordained to serve as priest in his father's place shall make atonement and shall put on the linen garments, the set-apart garments, and he shall make atonement for the most set-apart place and make atonement for the tent of appointment and for the slaughter place and make atonement for the priests and for all the people of the assembly and this shall be for you a law forever to make atonement for the children of Israel for all their sins once a year. And he did as Yahweh commanded Moshe. Chapter 17 And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aaron, to his sons, and to all the children of Israel, and say to them, this is the word which Yahweh has commanded, saying, Any man from the house of Israel who slays a bull or a lamb or a goat in the camp, or who slays it outside the camp, and does not bring it to the door of the tent of appointment to bring an offering to Yahweh before the dwelling place of Yahweh, blood guilt is reckoned to that man. He has shed blood, and that man shall be cut off from among his people in order that the children of Israel bring their slaughterings, which they slaughter in the open field, and they shall bring them to Yahovah at the door of the tent of appointment to the priest and slaughter them as slaughterings of peace offerings to Yahovah. And the priest shall sprinkle the blood on the slaughter place of Yahovah at the door of the tent of appointment, and shall burn the fat for a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And let them no longer slaughter their slaughterings to demons after whom they hoard. This is a law forever for them throughout their generations. And say to them, Any man of the house of Israel, or of the sojourners who sojourn among you, who offers an ascending offering or slaughtering, and does not bring it to the door of a tented appointment to do it to Yahovah, that man shall be cut off from among his people. And any man of the house of Israel, or of the sojourners who sojourn among you, who eats any blood, I shall set my face against that being who eats blood 
and shall cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the slaughter place to make atonement for your lives. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the life. Therefore I said to the children of Israel, No being among you eats blood, nor does any sojourner who sojourns among you eat blood. And any man from the children of Israel, or from the sojourners who sojourn among you, who hunts and catches any beast or bird which is eaten, shall pour out its blood and cover it with dust. For it is the life of all flesh. Its blood is for its life. And I said to the children of Israel, Do not eat the blood of any flesh, for the life of all flesh is in its blood. Anyone eating it is cut off. And any being who eats a carcass or what is torn by a beast, be he a native or a sojourner, he shall wash his garments and bathe in water and shall be unclean until evening. Then he shall be clean. And if he does not wash or bathe his body, then he shall bear his crookedness. Chapter 18 And Yahavah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, I am Yahavah your Elohim. Do not do as they do in the land of Mitzrayim where you dwelt. And do not do as they do in the land of Canaan where I am bringing you. And do not walk in their laws. Do my right rulings and guard my laws to walk in them. I am Yahovah your Elohim. And you shall guard my laws and my right rulings, which a man does and lives by them. I am Yahovah. No one is to approach anyone of his own flesh to uncover his nakedness. I am Yahovah. The nakedness of your father or the nakedness of your mother you do not uncover. She is your mother. You do not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of your father's wife you do not uncover. It's your father's nakedness. The nakedness of your sister the daughter of your father or the daughter of your mother, whether born at home or elsewhere, the nakedness you do not uncover. The nakedness of your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter, their nakedness you do not uncover, for theirs is your own nakedness. The nakedness of your father's wife's daughter, brought forth by your father, she's your sister. You do not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of your father's sister, you do not uncover. She's your father's flesh. The nakedness of your mother's sister, you do not uncover, for she's your mother's flesh. The nakedness of your father's brother, you do not uncover. You do not approach his wife. She's your aunt. The nakedness of your daughter-in-law, you do not uncover. She is your son's wife. You do not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of your brother's wife. Do not uncover. It's your brother's nakedness. The nakedness of a woman and her daughter. You do not uncover. Nor do you take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness. They're her relatives. It's wickedness. And do not take a woman as a rival to her sister to uncover her nakedness while the other is alive. And do not approach a woman to uncover her nakedness in her monthly separation of her uncleanness. And do not have intercourse with the wife of your neighbor to defile yourself with her. And do not give any of your offspring to pass through Molech. Do not profane the name of your Elohim. I am Yahovah. And do not lie with the male as with the woman. It is an abomination. And do not have intercourse with any beast to defile yourself with it. And a woman does not stand before a beast to mate with it. It's a perversion. And do not defile yourselves with all these, for by all these... The nations are defiled, which I'm driving out before you. 
Thus, the land became defiled. Therefore, I punished it for its crookedness, and the land vomited out its inhabitants. But you, you shall guard my laws and my right rulings, and not do any of these abominations, the native nor the sojourner who sojourns among you. Because the men of the land who were before you have done all these abominations, and thus the land became defiled. So let not the land vomit you out for defiling it, as it vomited out the nations that were before you. For whoever does any of these abominations, those beings who do them shall be cut off from among their people, and you shall guard my charge so as not to do any of these abominable laws which were done before you, so as not to defile yourselves by them. I am Yahweh, your Elohim.